There are many things I want to talk about today, spanning three different areas. The first of which is a request by you channel supporters asking me about my put options strategy. And second, I'll talk more about the Odyssey platform. And finally, I'll talk about the exciting science behind Fate Therapeutics and ArcG Favorite. And before we continue, let's roll that intro. I've been teaching biology since 2004. On this channel, I hope to simplify and explain the science behind the companies that's driving the genomics revolution one video at a time. A quick update on my put options strategy experiment, I started in the May of 2021 to earn passive income. Minus the fees, I've collected a premium of $3,121.29 American. In June, I've collected a further $914.66. Finally, in July, another $3,047.31. All in, that's $7,083.26. Not bad, I would say, for spending less than 30 minutes in my brokerage account to transact put options. Note that June's return was quite a bit lower compared to May and July. This is in part because I was following the contract expiry to a T, opening a new sell trade on the very day my older contract expires. Depending on the price movements of the stock, you may not get the best premium on that day. The key is that when the stock price is rising, the premiums are lower, since there is less risk and vice versa. So the best premiums that are offered for put options is when the stock prices are depressed. Watch out for when the prices start falling within the 30 to 45 days to the contract expiry to transact to get the best Premium. Since I use a delta of negative 0.3 to determine my strike price, I've never been assigned any stocks in the past 3 months. For those of you who need a refresher on put options, I put links in the video descriptions below for my past videos detailing it. Remember to do lots of research before venturing into options trading. Some platforms allow users to do paper trading to familiarize with how to do it and to see if it's really for you. And with that, let's dive into the next chapter of this video. As mentioned in my previous video, I'm now also on Odyssey where I upload exclusive content from time to time covering controversial topics. If you'd like to support my efforts in simplifying the science for you, you can register and watch my videos over there, earning some LBC in the process or even gift some LBC to me. LBC is library credits in short that one earns using the Odyssey platform. There is a list of activities that can earn you some LBC. For example, clicking on my registration link nets you 3 LBC. Watching any video nets you anywhere between 0.2 to 100 LBC. At the same time, if I gain a following as well as accumulate watch time from you, I also gain some LBC as well. So, win-win. Also, after you have registered, if you head into your accounts on the top right hand corner and click on the rewards, you will see a box appear named custom codes. Click on the enter code and then enter first million and you will get 10 LBC for free whilst it lasts. This is in celebration of the platform reaching a million channel creators. Again, win-win. So what can we do with LBC? This will be for another video in the future. Finally, let's spend the remaining time of this video dissecting down the science behind Fate Therapeutics to see if there's any investment potential in this company. At the time of making this video, Fate Therapeutics is the top 10 holdings in Arc. G. These companies' products are based on the concepts of stem cells. Let me describe what are stem cells so that I can lay the foundation for you to understand how the concepts are being applied. We are living organisms made up of many, many cells. Some of these cells will be lost during our lifetime due to many reasons. And in order to maintain the biological function of the organ that the cells are made up of, they need to be replaced. This is where stem cells come in. And in adults, they are hidden in some of the organs providing a source of cells to replace those that are lost. 
where upon a unique cell division, one of the daughter cells is committed to replacing the lost cell, whereas the other reverts back to the original stem cell to ensure its constant supply. Stem cells are defined by their ability to become the cells required, namely totipotency, pluripotency, and multipotency. The last group are adult stem cells with the most limited lineage of cells that the stem cells can become. Frequently, this is limited to within the organ that it is found. For example, blood stem cells in the bone marrow can produce cells which eventually become red blood cells. In that location, it cannot become neurons, for example. Pluripotent stem cells can become any cell type within the organism, so it is one level above multipotent stem cells. Since the pluripotent stem cells are so powerful, the scientists are thinking to themselves whether they can harvest these cells and let them become what cells the patients need, especially those with organ failure. Unfortunately, it is not so easy because these type of stem cells can only be harvested from fertilized eggs. Isolate them and you and I will not be here today. Ayo! Since their use is associated with ethical concerns, are we going to sacrifice one life for another? I love my life and I'm not about to agree with that. The scientists therefore went back to the drawing board and it took more than a decade to finally solve the problem. The first major step was in the identification of genes whose products give the stem cell their pluripotency. This was found out to be four genes by Shinya Yamanaka's lab in Kyoto, Japan in 2006. What if we can isolate our skin cell, genetically engineer active Yamanaka genes into them so that they can reverse themselves back into a pluripotent stem cell? If that is done, then it circumvents the ethical concern of taking a life, representing a major biomedical breakthrough. Today, we call this IPSCs, and this is the technology that Fate Therapeutics is based on. At the forefront of Fate Therapeutics' solution to human diseases is to get their line of IPSCs to become specialized NK cells. And on that note, let's dive into what these cells are so as to get you up to speed. NK cells are a type of cells belonging to innate immunity where they recognize something that is wrong with whole cells and target them for destruction. There are two main situations where host cells need to die, one of which is when they are infected and the other is when the cell has transformed into a cancer cell. How they kill the whole cell is a two-step mechanism. Firstly, requiring the recognition of these cells that need to die. And to do that, they will have to bind to an antibody molecule that has to first recognize these cells. Once bound to the antibody, they then secrete two enzymes, the first of which is perforin, and as the name implies, creates holes in the target cells. Then, the second is granzyme, which activates a specific cell death mechanism known as apoptosis. So, Fate Therapeutics want to deploy NK cells derived from IPSCs to eradicate cancer in patients. The science behind it is quite complex. Feel free to circle back using the timestamps in the video description below. Of course, I suspect you're waiting for my analysis of this company, right? Let's dive in. Unfortunately, I'm not convinced with using IPSCs. I understand why they are used because you only need one master IPSC line to become any cell you want it to be. Sounds great, right? But there is a but. First, these cells will have to be produced in high numbers, meaning that they will undergo cell division. Every cell division increases the risk of cancer-related gene mutation. Who is to say that these cells themselves will not become cancerous down the line, creating the same problem they tried to treat in the first place? Second, the IPSCs are not autologous, which means removed from the host, 
made into an iPSC, which later becomes NK cells and then injected back into the same host. Instead, they are allogeneic, meaning it originated from another human. This is going to be another problem because we are not genetically identical to each other. For these NK cells to be injected into the recipient, there is a risk of graft versus host disease that may result even in death. To prevent that, patients need to be depleted of immune cells, which in itself is yet another problem. Why not develop an autologous iPSC? Unfortunately, it's too expensive, laborious, and time-consuming. It's like cooking a dish for every patron in a restaurant based on their individual preferences as well as dietary requirements, and without contaminating from dish to dish while prepping. Ayo! They are just too many problems to solve with too many steps. I think an Elon Musk quote is very apt here. The best part is no part. The best process is no process. And I'm not even done yet. Because these cells belong to innate immunity, they need an antibody molecule in order to induce apoptosis in the target cells. These antibodies in turn are developed by another drug company. hi -yo! That requires the recognition of the tumor antigen. There are two main problems here. The first of which is that this is a combination therapy where one of it comes from another drug company and the other from fate therapeutics. And the problem is, this is going to be freaking expensive because fate therapeutics does not own the IP to the antibody. Second, tumor antigens on cancer cells arise by chance and not all patients exhibit these antigens which the antibodies recognize without which the treatment is as good as useless. And because of all the reasons, I'm sorry, but I'm out. I don't understand why Fate Therapeutics is so fixated on NK cells when you can use cytotoxic T cells instead, which does not require an additional antibody molecule. Guess which biotech company targets the T cells as a means to treat cancer? Repeat after me, Beam Therapeutics. This would nicely segue into the next video where I talk about Beam 201 and the topic of multiplex editing in the treatment of cancer. Before I end, I'd like to announce that I'm taking a two-week hiatus from YouTube so that I can talk about vaccines on Odyssey. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, it took a lot of effort to put together this episode. And as a tutor, I can't help but to put a poll in the community tab to check if you have understood this video. Please go over to answer the question to show me that you have got the gist of it. Because you are also teachable and I'm Benjamin Yang. Catch you in the next one.